Sure, changing five lights to white. Let's see if this works better. Hey guys, sorry I didn't do PV. That's an even asking. So, um, I'm gonna pop a squat. <sighs> I don't know where my phone went. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can. Uh, I had a different video idea for <laughs> today and I can't do it because as you guys know we are in quarantine and because of that I don't want to go to the grocery store if I don't have to um, and I was going to upload a Kate's Kitchen for today and I didn't because I don't have eggs don't have eggs I thought thought I had eggs and I didn't and that sucked and I was like you know what? it's okay I will make something else and um, I was gonna make barbecue chicken not for Kate's Kitchen, just to like eat. And uh, I, it, the ch chicken hadn't expired yet and I opened it up and it smelled like skunk ass. And I was like... So the, the main the main point of this video, I said I was gonna make it quick. I'm gonna try to make it as quick as I can. I, I tend to ramble and I'm sorry. So um, I tattled on my neighbors today. Technically not today. So I, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know or not. Um, I mean, you know, I think a lot. I think all of you know. I don't like confrontation. I I don't like drama. I don't like problems. I'm a Libra. I like balance. Um, and I don't like. Pro I I said that. Sorry. Um, I'm kind of nervous, and I know it's stupid. Ever since I've moved in, the neighbors upstairs have been very loud and noisy. They move furniture a lot, and they drop things, and they have a dog that barks all the time. Where's found it? Found the phone. Um. So yeah, they're very noisy. <laughs> Footsteps, for instance, don't bother me as much um, because that's that's a natural that's a natural thing you have to deal with with the neighbors is that um, what I've been dealing with is not that I've been dealing with them moving furniture an ungodly amount of times and for what like to when they go to sit to eat dinner or whatever they will drag the chairs and they can pick them up and set them down. Um, but they drag it and you may be like, okay, you know, that's the, that's having neighbors. This is, it's gone. It's too much. <laughs> like it's, it's too much. I, I don't want to start a war and I, what I'm afraid of is I'm afraid that, you know, I contact the landlord. I tell them, Hey, um, is there anything we could do about the noise? Uh, and then they tell them, Hey, you've got a noise complaint from your downstairs neighbor. Can you be more considerate of the furniture? I'm afraid that if, when I do make noise, because we're all quarantined, one, um, so noise is bound to happen more than normal because we're all home. Um, but I mean, I'm always home, but I'm always very, I try to be very considerate of noise levels because, I mean, I'm, I try to think for other pe people's perspective, I don't know. Um, so when I play music here, I'll see if I can play it. When I play music, I play it this loud. I don't play it louder unless they are playing music as loud. That's about as loud as it gets. I don't like playing it super loud because I, I get weird. I feel weird when other people can hear my music. That may just be a me thing. But if I want to listen to it louder, I put on headphones and go about my business. Do I get loud in stream sometimes? I'm sure. But do I do it a lot? No. Um, do I get hyped in video game playing sometimes? Yes, I'm sure. But that's not what the problem is. The problem is the furniture. If I can hear, I hear their music all the time. I just play music in, in response. Like, it, that that doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the furniture, and it's nonstop. And then the dog barking and scratching the ground. And I understand if it's like a yip or two, like dogs bark. You can't control that. I understand that. But it's like, I can hear them egging the dog on. I can hear them yelling the dog's name, and then they like throw things on the ground. Anyway, so they, they're, I just, they're not being considerate, and I've put up with it since I've moved here. And the last four or five months, it's been atrocious. The, it's the furniture. It's the, mainly the furniture. And if you're like, Kate, it can't possibly be that bad, I have some recordings for you.
Because it's, it's a, oh my God. But it's like, um, here, it's like a here headache rather than normally I get headaches like here. Flip it. I don't know where he hides them, but like I won't have any hair ties and I don't feed him instantly for like. Can only be you. Well, the thing is, they have neighbors over here next to them. Okay. Apples. No, I bought that. I want. Oh my god. Why? Why? All right, Money Rock. This has been the Money Rock the last two days. Oh my god. Damn it! It's not the Money Rock. Pretty sure. The
I reached out to the landlord. I finally reached out to the landlord and I left a voicemail because they didn't answer and I, I was sure they were not going to answer anyway. I was surprised it even went through because everything's closed, like including landlord offices. Um, but I called and I was like, hi, um, this is Caitlin. I just have a little problem. <laughs> I have a little problem with the upstairs neighbors um, making noise and I'd really like to get it taken care of so if you could call me back I'd really appreciate it and I tried to be I tried to be nice and I was like I understand things um, are a little bit crazy right now with quarantine and this has just been going on for a really long time and I would really like to just have it taken care of and I didn't hear anything for like a week and a half and then yesterday yesterday morning I got a call and it went to voicemail because I was asleep um, because Thor has been horrible. <laughs> That's a different story. So, um, when I saw the voicemail, it was a minute and a half long, and I was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I ended up reading the transcription of the phone call, and they, the, the landlord told me to call the police. If, if, if it was noisy, call the police. And I can't exactly call the police if it's furniture being moved. That seems a little bit dramatic. However, um, that one time when they were playing music, like not, it wasn't these neighbors, it was those neighbors. Not down below, but like above the down below neighbors. Does that make any sense? Anyway, they had a speaker outside their door and they were doing this. I was inside the house and then I opened the door. I didn't go outside, I opened the door and I was like, what in tar nation? That I could call the police on. But the furniture thing, like, I can't call, oh, my, my neighbor's moving the table a lot. I can't do that. Like that's, so I just want, I just, I just want the landlord to be like, please be more considerate of your neighbors while moving furniture, cleaning, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know, the landlord knows how to do this stuff. I finally got the courage and today I, she, cause also she said I could text her. Um, in the in the voicemail. So today I I spent like 30 30 minutes or like an hour trying to write out the perfect Message to be like I'm friendly. I don't want problems. I'm really sorry But this is kind of irritating and I just want it. I don't want I don't want problems. I don't want problem I don't want problems and so I sent the text and she responded pretty quickly and I was very surprised Um, she was like, thanks for letting me know. I'll take care of it Um, keep me in the loop and I was like Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Um, and since then, they've still been kind of banging around, so I don't think she's called them yet, but I don't know if she's going to call them or text them or, like, leave a notice on the door. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. And, like, I've been so stressed out because I'm afraid me telling on them is going to make it be, like, a war and, like, them hate me because I tattled. Excuse you, excuse you, excuse you. We cannot have shoulders, ma'am. Women can't have sho- We're good. Women can't have shoulders, don't you know? I'm afraid if I make any noise whatsoever and they hear it, it's gonna be like, the war is on. Because if I play music and they can hear a little bit of it, I'm afraid they're gonna like slam the floor really hard. Just, I'm afraid if I like laugh at a TV show, then <laughs> they're gonna slam the floor because that happened. Um kind of like a month ago, I think, I, I was watching a TV show and it was it was late, granted, it was my bad, um, but I laughed and it was like 3 a.m. and I laughed twice, I just went, ha ha, kind of loud, and they slammed the floor and I was like, and I, I promise you I was not being loud beforehand, the TV was not loud, it, I don't know what prompted such anger because <laughs> it wasn't like when I hit I've hit the ceiling with the broom when they were playing music too loud and it was a very like a nice simple like dun dun like a very quick like like heads up I can I can hear this was like boom boom and I was like oh oh <laughs> uh but then again I it's like worst case if they do throw a fit about like I don't know if they'd slam the floor or I don't know if they'd like tell on me to the landlord be like, our neighbor downstairs being loud with her music, and I'm not. Like, I feel, I feel like I'm living on a bomb, or under a bomb. Like, I don't, oh my god. Worst case, you know, I just tell the landlord again, um, 
it's so it's it's such a weird it's such a weird thing and a lot of people too when i've talked about this before they're like why don't you just go confront your neighbors a few things a few problems with that a few problems with that one um we're in quarantine i do not want to come into contact with other people two um i don't like confrontation i really don't like confrontation and going face to face telling someone they're too loud is a nightmare for me and if you're like oh we'll just leave a note um I don't think that would be effective. I think that would just, they, I think they would take that as being petty and that would piss them off because I've, I've had to leave notes before um, for other things like laundry room or whatever. And, or like one time someone's dog got out and I saw so I was holding them in my apartment waiting for them to like get back to me. And it just, notes don't ever work. Notes always are very, very, very passive aggressive. I don't want problems. I don't want problems. I don't want there to ever be problems. Um, I just want them to be a little bit more considerate and that's it. That's it. I'm not a very loud person. Um, I understand noise happens, but it, uh, it's a bit insane. It's, it's a bit insane. Like, it's insane. It's gotten to a point where I feel like it's pissing a lot of y'all off in streams because it's just constant. People, are, new people come in. Listen, new people come in. They're like, "Holy shit, is that thunder?" And I'm like, "No, it's my neighbors." <laughs> oh. Anyways, I'm gonna go make nachos because that sounds delicious, and I don't have chicken or anything else. <laughs> don't have eggs. I should probably go to the store. Does it not blow y'all's minds? I mean, it's blown my mind like a million times already, but I just, when you sit, when you sit there and you kind of like take it in, we're living, we are living in what is going to be history. Like in a hundred years from now, if we're still alive, uh, not us, but like people, I don't want to start thinking about death. We're, we're not going to talk about death. We're not going to talk about death. It freaks me out. I hate, I hate the thoughts. Even though like I'm Christian, like, oh, there's a heaven. It still freaks me out. Cause what if anyway, and uh, we're living in history right now. And, and I saw, I've been seeing so many things where it's like, you know how our grandparents like, oh, I had to walk 20 miles to school. Now we are going to be able to like, when we're, when we're parents or adult adults, like, you know, older, and then someone's going to be like, mom, I'm bored. Grandma, I'm bored. And we're getting like flashbacks, like quarantine, like when I was your age, I was in the 2020 quarantine. You know what I had to do? I had to watch Netflix until my internet capped. Do you know what internet is, son? I'm like, yes, Grandma, I know what internet is. That's what you old people still use, even though we don't need that anymore because we have we have portable Tesla emitters. I'm just assuming Elon comes up with a new internet thing. I don't know. But, uh, like, we are going to be those people. And I will happily be that person because it's funny to me. I, I want to be like 89 years old and like grandkids being like, Grandma, I'm bored. I'm like, you're bored? Oh, you're bored? You know what I had to do when I was your age? Actually, I would not have been your age. You know what I had to, well, you know what I had kids had to do when I was, I, they, were your, they were your age. How old am I? We were in quarantine for, in 2020. Tw tw That's what I'm going to be like when I'm a grandma. If I even make it to a grandma. We're not talking about death. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go. This has been great. I'm going to go make nachos. I've already said that. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, but on a real though, a few things. <laughs> on a real though, I miss my friends i have like five friends but i miss them so much like i want to be like i will never complain about going out i will never complain about being an introvert ever again i'm because like listen we're introverts right we're introverts and that's fine but there's different levels of introverts um me as an introvert i need a week to recharge for one day and then that's fine the problem is i've been in a recharge mode for five weeks i need people <laughs> i need people <laughs> it, like it was fun it was fun for a hot minute but now i'm like recharged too much and i'm Google. what was i i pulled my phone open oh my god i'm gonna hate myself i'm gonna edit this and i'm gonna be like you oh i was looking up how many days we've been in quarantine i love myself the quarantine my quarantine started march 15th and it is the 22nd so it has been oh my god one two three four five yeah five five weeks help okay i'm gonna go for real for real this time i'm gonna go but um thank you guys for hanging out with me and listening to my my troubles of the neighbors and um life just life
but uh, I hope you guys are enjoying me being consistent. Look at me go. <laughs> I'm lonely. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, fun stuff. Um, I'm going to be streaming today. And I'm going to do something that I don't want to do, but I do want to do, but I don't want to do. We're going to work out together. So, like, put your workout clothes on. And I know not a single one of you is going to do this with me. And I'm going to do it alone. And I'm going to cry and be sweaty and die. And if I'm not, I, I am streaming. But if I'm not working out... That's because I'm lazy. But yeah, all my muscle definition's gone. Because it's been five weeks. All my muscle definition's gone. I feel like I worked so hard at the gym for three to four years. And it's gone in a month. Uh, I bummed myself out. Okay, I'm going to go with you guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.